Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a project to share with you today. This is a medieval greenhouse herb garden and we got it from Rainbow Resource several years ago, the first time we did our Middle Ages unit. We're going to use it again this time, but it actually doesn't have any of the supplies that came with the kit originally. So we're going to use some of our own supplies and I'm going to show you how to use this kit. And also if this kit isn't available, I'll show you some alternatives as well. So we're just going to rehydrate these soil pellets. We've got some home made compost as well that we're going to use and a couple of stones to decorate the top. So I'm going to use some of our own soil towards the bottom. This is for my eight-year-old daughter and my 12-year-old son for our homeschool unit study. And now we're going to place these little soil pellets kind of nestled into that compost soil. And we're going to keep these soil pellets just like they are, and that way we can grow our herbs right inside them and they will be easy to transfer into our garden. Also, they'll just kind of stay put. And we'll also know what kind of herbs we're growing because we're gonna grow four different herbs. And these herbs are actually from a different kit from Nature Watch, but of course you can use any herbs that you have, rosemary, sage, thyme, all of them would be suitable for a medieval herb garden. Once all the seeds are planted, we're going to decorate with a few stones and we're also going to line them up so that you can see where all of our herbs are going to grow. The last thing we're going to do is label our herb garden using some popsicle sticks and a Sharpie marker to label our herbs. So we're going to put the lid on and leave this in a sunny place and watch them grow. In the meantime, we headed over to a local grocery store and we picked up a variety of herbs that we're going to plant directly into our soil in the backyard. And this is also going to be our secondary Middle Ages herb garden. Again, this goes along with our homeschool unit study on the Middle Ages. And we ended up using these herbs for some Middle Ages meals, some mini inspired recipes that we added to our unit. We're going to go ahead and make some labels for our herbs outside. I'm just cutting off some of the wrapper from our herbs. I'm using my heavy duty stapler. I'm going to staple that right through the popsicle stick and you can see that it works really well. If you use a regular stapler, it probably won't work. So our heavy duty stapler came in really handy for this. Lastly, we're going to put these in the yard so that we can keep all of our herbs labeled. And then we just want to keep them watered and use them whenever we need. So after several months, you can see that they're all growing up really well. Some of these areas in our yard didn't get that much water, but these herbs survived anyway. Our labels, not so much. They started to really weather over time. Let's head back to our greenhouse herb garden. You can see that they're doing really well. With it being a greenhouse, you don't have to water it quite as much, but if you do take off the top then just know that it will dry out really fast because this is a small container so it will need to keep it watered and after several weeks you can see that they're doing really well and at this point we can transplant them into our yard or we can move this into the kitchen near a sunny window and start using them with our cooking I hope that you enjoyed this project. If you'd like to see some more of our Middle Ages projects, you can tap on the screen right now to see that whole playlist. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video for more information. And if you'd like to see how our homeschool is progressing on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.